Class is in and going green. Ameren, Illinois is conducting a carbon-free assessment of all public school buildings in the coverage area, and District 150 is the first. Good Tuesday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Janice Repholz. Thanks for joining us at 10. Madison Porter explains how Peoria Public Schools could manage their energy and overall save in tonight's top story. Madison. Tyler and Janice, Ameren, Illinois is required by law to provide all public school districts in its service area with a roadmap to help manage energy usage. All of it together leading toward what would it take to move Peoria Public Schools to be carbon free. Peoria Public Schools is the largest school district in Ameren territory, providing power to 34 buildings. Because of the Climate and Equitable Jobs Act, Ameren took a deeper look into District 150's energy use, looking at small changes to HVAC systems and electrical structures that could make a big difference. These are items here that can have immense monetary savings for sealing up the building and reducing the amount of heat that is transferred or escapes. The program also looked at larger commitments to decarbonization. District 150 is already getting 15 electrical school buses, but the study recommends converting the entire fleet. It also pinpointed areas suitable for solar arrays, like the roof of Richwoods High School or nearby empty parking lots, potentially saving about $138,000 a year. Any savings that the district sees is potential dollars that could be placed into education versus paying for electricity. But Transportation Director Josh Collins says it's not only about saving money, but also creating a cleaner environment for PPS students and the community. The end goal is to also reduce our carbon footprint to make sure that it's not just about a cost savings, it's also about being responsible for the environment moving into the future. Josh Collins says the district's buildings and grounds department would be the ones to assess Ameren's report and see which items, if any, can be implemented to go all green by the year 2030.